Hello and welcome to another official and exclusive Harryhausen unboxing. This time it's the Kraken from Clash of the Titans. The myth. The magic. The mystery. The majesty. Destroy Argos! Let loose the last of the Titans. Metro Goldwyn Mayer presents Clash of the Titans. Before history, beyond imagination. Clash of the Titans. To get a fuller origin story of this piece from 1981, then check out the video for the super vinyl 54 centimeter full Kraken figure with polyresin diorama on this channel in the Harryhausen playlist. I do want to take a few moments to talk about the full-size head crack and bust that we're going to be seeing in this unboxing video. It was modelled on a unique piece in the collection of the Ray and Dinah Harryhausen Foundation. Ray built a large-scale upper body torso section on the Kraken for detailed close-ups needed for the film's legendary finale and confrontation with Perseus. He made large sections of creatures before, such as the Hand of Talos, and famously Talos's heel. There were three Krakens created for Clash of the Titans. Let's hear from Ray Harryhausen himself. The word Kraken, of course, came much later. It wasn't in Greek mythology. In the original legend, it was a Leviathan. We didn't want to reproduce a dragon-type character again, so I designed the Kraken with four arms and a sort of tentacle under his arms. We had different sizes of Kraken. One was a complete figure with a tail, and it was about three feet long. Then we had a large size for close-ups, which was very necessary to get the detail in the face. And then we had about a 15-foot character made of sponge rubber that Colin Arthur designed and, and built. It had to be loaded with lead so that it would sink into the sea and be photographed by an underwater cameraman. In this exclusive footage from the Ray Harryhausen archives, you can see how time has ravaged the Titan of the Oceans for more than 40 years. They are obviously the easiest, easily the biggest of any of Ray's models, certainly stop motion models. Uh, it's a huge job. There's a lot of stuff to be done to it, there's lots and lots of repair work. Uh, just looking at it is amazing because of the size of the model, it's just, it's technically not a stop motion model, it's a stop motion figure, it's as big as a man. Uh, the damage is obviously in proportion to its size, so there's more damage on this, more work to be done than anything. There's probably as much to be done on this as perhaps 10 of Ray's usual figures. He was painstakingly restored by our official conservator, Mr. Alan Friswell, in time for the 2020 centenary. Right, let's get unboxing. I command you to let loose the last of the Titans. Let loose the Kraken! Magnificent, the size of these boxes. They seem to be getting bigger and bigger, but of course for transport it's so important. Now, these are incredible designs in themselves. Box designer Christopher Nika at Rain Studio told me each creature that Ray Harryhausen created is unique, which of course, I agree, and special, so the packaging needs to reflect that. Christopher said in his mind the packaging needs to have important key visual motifs, the grand ocean, crashing waves, the design also needs to reflect the sculpt with creative uses of green, orange, grey, silver and a little amount of gold for the colour palette to achieve that luxury feeling. Back area, Christopher used grey stone texture to make sure hex can be readable and stand out. Like the film, these designs are timeless. Again, this was designed by the renowned Kebotsuya Studios who created this whole Harryhausen range. Of course, always well packaged, it's a polyresin sculpt in terms of the base, the neck piece, and the head. So it's well packaged here, polystyrene. Bubble wrap gives more protection. Out went the head there, the stalk, and here's the base. 
the Kraken. Beneath the base, Harryhausen's Holly Resin bus series Kraken Giant and Fearsome. And there's Ray's signature, his autograph there. And of course, as always, this comes with rubber feet on the base. Now this has a lovely Greek style motif for the oceans, as we can see all the way around. Quite prominent, in fact, in Jason and the Argonauts in the title sequence there. Great to see that recreated here for Ray's only second Greek myth film, The uh, Bash of the Tysons from 1981. And here the plaque with the legend, the Kraken. The Kraken was originally an ancient Norwegian sea monster octopus. Ray Harryhausen reinvented the design for his final film, Clash of the Titans, in 1981, combining elements of the Emir from 20 million miles to Earth in 1957 and King Kong in 1933. This bus design is based on the large scale animated model used for the dramatic close ups during the film's climax. Now, as always, this comes with a full construction sheet. It's very simple to put together. You have this neck piece that looks as if it's made from brushed steel. It is in fact poly resin. It fits nicely there into the base. Then the solid headpiece. Wonderful. It's identical to the one in the collection. The colouring here is particularly impressive. There are so many different shades of colouring here. The Kraken isn't just green, as we can see in close-up. We saw that earlier on Ray Harryhausen's original creature. Here, the sculpt almost glistens, as if the Kraken has come from the sea and is covered in a, in a green hue barnacle look and slightly glistens as if he's just splashed out of the water, out of the wash of the ocean. The mighty fangs there and the rather devilish eyes all of Ray Harryhausen's creatures have wonderful eyes, and this is no different. The sculpt, the texture, and also the scale of this is really impressive. If you've had one of the busts before, the Cyclops, this is a perfect companion piece. There is another one coming soon as well. We hope to reveal that shortly. There you have it, Ray Harryhausen's Kraken giant bust. It sits proudly atop the neck piece. There we go. There we are. How magnificent for any collection, for any serious film enthusiast, and anyone who's into creature features, Ray Harryhausen's The Kraken, the wonderful box design there from Christopher Nico at Rain Studios. All it needs now is for one of our very epic on-screen comparisons. Right, let's go. Hope you enjoyed that crack and bust unboxing remember to watch the other star race toys clash of the titans figures in this playlist including the full length kraken pegasus bubo the owl and medusa now you can find out more about the work of the ray harryhausen foundation at rayharryhausen.com where you can find our social media links and our podcast too now if you'd like to win your very own crack and bust from Star Race Toys, then simply subscribe to my channel here and comment below the video. Remember the chance. Good luck, and we'll see you next time. Bye.